Hi, I'm Judy Buss, the Children's Minister here at Foothills. I'm excited to share our online Sunday experiences with you. Each month, there is a specific theme and characteristic trait from Jesus that we will focus on. There is great worship each week with fun motions and all the words included. For our younger viewers, we have Ollie in the Wonder Clubhouse, which I think you'll love. And for our older viewers, we have the so-and-so show, which will not only make you laugh, but help you learn something new about God each week. I think you will enjoy these videos no matter what your age is. We've also attached some parent conversation guides that include some great discussion starters, as well as some interesting and fun activities surrounding today's topic. Be sure to check those out. Okay, now for this week's Sunday experiences. Remember, there are three videos and you can skip ahead if you'd like. You'll see them all listed right here. First look for our preschoolers, 252 basic kids for our kindergarten to second graders, and preteen for our third through fifth grade. Now for the first look video. Only God can hang the stars in outer space. Only He can make a rainbow from the rain Only God can part the seas to make a way There's nothing He can't do No, there's nothing He can't do Cause He can do anything, anything at all Giant too big, no mountain too tall I know God is powerful, yeah, anything He can do anything, anything at all Only God can hang the stars in outer space Only He can make a rainbow from the rain Only God can part the seas to make a Trust Him Well, what this means is we can trust Him Yeah, I know This means you and me can trust Him Because He can do anything, anything at all He can do anything, anything at all There's no giant too big too tall I know God is powerful Yeah, anything He can do anything Anything at all Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story Full of wonder There's so much fun We'll have learning to try it out myself. So I collected a bunch of rocks from my driveway. See? 
Now we need our dump truck. First, we're gonna fill up the dump truck like this. Check this out, the dump truck is full. Now our dump truck has to travel all the way over here. Make your best truck sounds with me. Ready? Here we are. So on the count of three, I want everyone to say, dump those rocks. Ready? One, two, three. Dump those rocks. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Moving some rocks, are you? I sure am, Ollie. I'm having so much fun making rock piles with my dump truck. Moving stones is fun. It's true. But that's not the only thing rocks can do. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hey friends. I'm just in the mailman and oh, it's hot outside. Hold on one second. Ah, I was so thirsty, which is actually a part of our story today. Are you ready for it? Well, let me just put the story mail in the mailbox and, uh, ah. There we go. Today's true story from the Bible begins with God's people, the Israelites, who were led by a man named Moses. Everyone say, hi, Moses. Hi, Moses and they all lived in the desert where it can get really hot and there was lots and lots of sand. But do you know what there wasn't a lot of? Water. There wasn't much water and the people started getting thirsty. Now, when you and I get thirsty, there are usually places where we could get water, but the Israelites did not have any water anywhere. They started whining and complaining because they were thirsty and didn't have any water. Moses knew the people needed water, but it was wrong to whine and complain. So he talked to God about it. Moses told God that the people felt like God wasn't helping them. But we know that God is always with us and has the power to help. Do you think God helped the thirsty people in the desert? Yes! God told Moses to go to a big rock and hit it with his staff. Whoa, look, it's water. God made water come out of a rock. He is so powerful. Only God could do that. The people drank the water and knew that God was there and had the power to help them. So the next time you need something, remember to talk to God about it because he has the power to help you. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God brought water from a rock, and he can give us what we need, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God is so powerful. He made water come out of a rock. Because God is so powerful, he can give us everything we need, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! I can't make water come out of a rock, but I can keep moving them. Here we go! A 
I'll see you next time. Bye. is our Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147.5 Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147.5 
thought today we could take a look at some of my past treasure hunting expeditions so you could see some of the perils of my profession. You've been warned, danger awaits. When you're searching for treasure, you're gonna need some wisdom. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. In other words, there's always planning involved. You shouldn't just rush in without thinking, like the time I went looking for treasures in the jungles of Peru. Okay, there I am, about to go into a cave, and I kinda miss that sign that says, watch out for large boulders. So, here's what happened. Signs are there for a reason, people. But I learned my lesson. Look. Two paths leading to the same waterfall. The path on the right may be shorter, but look, there's a sign that says, caution, poison ivy. So I took the longer path and you know what happened? No calamine lotion necessary. <laughs> then later I got to the ancient ruins. There's a sign that says, warning, falling snakes. So guess what? I decided there's a safer place to explore. So when you're treasure hunting, it's important to look out for all of the warning signs. And as you'll find out in today's story, that's an important lesson in life too. A lesson I have already learned on my many, 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 many Peruvian adventures. <laughs> All right, not really. I've actually never been to Peru, but I'm getting pretty good at editing photos. Here's me on the moon. All right, I'll see you in a few. Bye. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse three. When Solomon became king as a young man, he asked God for one thing, wisdom. And God made him one of the wisest men in the world. Years later, many of Solomon's wise sayings were collected and written down in the book of Proverbs. Check out these wise words in Proverbs 22.3. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. There's a lot to discover in these few short lines. First of all, it's important to remember to take time in your day to stop. Oops! It's easy to get so distracted that you don't stop to take a breath and pay attention to what's going on around you. Second step, think. Look around you, look ahead. Do you see danger? Ask yourself, if I keep doing what I'm doing, what's going to happen? If I say the first thing that pops into my head and talk back to my mom, well, that might just lead to a week of no screen time. If I keep playing this video game, and playing, and playing, instead of studying, I might bomb the test. If I ignore the sign that says, playground closed for repairs, that could mean a trip to urgent care. God doesn't tell us the future, but he has given us the common sense to think through what is most likely to happen right now based on what's going on around us. Oh, which brings us to our third step, act. Once you've taken time to stop and think it through, it's time to make your move. Maybe you realize the safe place in this case is to hold your tongue and say, yes, ma'am. Maybe your safe place is setting a timer for only five more minutes of game time before you study. Maybe your safe place is to walk right past that closed down playground, no matter how cool it looks. Foolish people barrel ahead without pausing to think. Wisdom stops thinks, then acts. From the very beginning, God designed people with the ability to think and act according to his wisdom. And that's still true for each one of us today. So don't forget to stop, think, and then act. And as Solomon reminds us, wise people see danger and go to their safe place. But childish people, they keep going and suffer for it. Listen to what King Solomon wrote. 
Wise people see danger and go to a safe place but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Danger can come in all shapes and sizes. I'm not just talking about physical danger. Danger could be a suspicious looking website. It could be a friend you shouldn't hang out with. It could be a temptation to break a rule. And you might not have a sign to warn you when there's danger, but tell the truth. You know when something is dangerous, or at least you know when something might be dangerous. And that's your cue to try something different. Avoid the danger altogether. Or it's your cue to find out more information. When you want to do something you think might be dangerous, or if someone else is trying to get you to do something dangerous, don't just keep going without thinking about the consequences. Stop and think. Think about what Jesus would do, or talk to someone who's wiser than you. It might save you from trouble maybe even save you from a falling snake or two. Ah! Oh, it's not funny. The one thing to remember today is this. Think before you act. Look for the warning signs and avoid the danger. Then you'll be safe the next time you go to Antarctica. <laughs> that looks real, right? It totally looks real. <laughs> I'll see you next time.
Lickety split. I gotta get home. Sure thing, Brandon. Goodbye. Yeah. John. John? John! Where is he? Where is he? He couldn't just disappear. Tell me where he is. You have to have seen something. Nobody disappears out of thin air. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. And you're all in on it! How did I escape with difficulty? How did I plan this moment? With pleasure, John. It's really hard to escape a basement with a spoon. And furthermore, did you know that basements are underground? Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So-and-So Show. Yeah, mmm. Hey, what you got there, buddy? Oh, gotta get my vitamin W. Vitamin W? Oh, it's vitamins for wisdom. W choose when vitamin C just isn't enough. Uh -huh. All right, I think it's important to note there is no such thing as vitamin W. But with W choose, you'll never have to worry about wisdom ever again. This way, buddy. Oh, but with W choose. Again, I think it's important to note you can't get wisdom by eating something. All right. Then do you know where you can get some wisdom? Where? Talking to someone you know stuff! Hello, everyone! No, oh, thank you. Please, thank you. Sit down. You are too kind up there. I see you. What's up? Hello, hello. Uh, why don't you come over here and have a seat? All right. What was that? Oh, I have fans everywhere, Brandon. Even in places you can't always see. See you. Well, uh, uh, well, uh, who are you and, and what do you know? <gasps> My name is Stevie Knievy, and I am a stunt performer. Oh, yes, so like, thank you. So, so <laughs> like for movies? Uh, no, I do movies occasionally, but mostly now I just do death-defying stunts for my adoring fans. Hey! Yes! Oh, thank you. Please sit down. Stop. <laughs> uh, okay, so death-defying stunts. That sounds yeah. dangerous. Very dangerous, Brandon. Very. So, I mean, how are, how are you still here? I mean, intact. <laughs> Well, I should say that death-defying stunts could be very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. You see, every professional stunt performer, like myself, knows that you need to do a bunch of practice runs and make sure all of these safety measures are in place before you even do the stunt. 
Being careful is key. Sometimes people will do the stunts and they won't even think it through first. Yeah, but what's the point of doing a death-defying stunt if you're trying to be careful? <laughs> <laughs> so you can do it more than once. I mean, come on. Right, right. right. <laughs> right. So uh, uh, what are some of the stunts that you've done? Hmm. Oh, you guys know it. It's my signature ride. It's the bicycle ride of dreams where I dream up something crazy to jump over and uh, then I figure out how to do it. Yes! Uh, <laughs> uh, what, what, what have you dr dreamt up? Oh, what was it? Oh, I know what you're talking about. My favorite one was when I filled up an Olympic-sized pool with chocolate pudding, and I jumped over it. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh wow. Did, did, you, did, you, did you make it? Of course I made it. Oh. Although if I didn't, it would have been a pretty tasty wipeout. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm sad that we can't see you do one of your stunts. Yeah. What? Oh, okay, why not? You guys stay right here. Uh, where's she going? I don't know. Hey, there she is. was incredible. Oh, thank you very you, much. You, you, you did that. I did do that. That yes. was so crazy. It didn't even look real. Mm, like I said, you know, it's important to work up to it. I, I want to do that. I want to do that. You have to think it through. Talk to somebody who's done it before. I've talked to you. I'm ready. Start a yeah, John, I don't think you have enough space on this runway. I will now make this jump. Ha-ha. <laughs> no, please, John, don't. Here we go. Oh. Oh. I'm wet. Thanks for coming on the show, Stevie. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Kellen, how do you do? Not too shabby. How about yourself? I think I may have fractured my fibula. But otherwise, I'm great. What? Whoa, what happened? Ooh, death-defying jumps. Uh, John tried to do something unsafe that he didn't really think through. Our verse actually talks a little bit about that. Oh, yeah? Proverbs 22.3. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Now, it's a great verse that packs in a lot. And I was wondering if you two could help me with a little game I like to call Wisdom Will Ya, Wisdom Won't Ya. So here's how this game works. For each round, I will give you a challenge. Now it's up to you to decide if you will accept my challenge. You can buzz in and say, I will or I won't. If you say, I will, you must complete the challenge. But some of these can be tricky. So remember our verse. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Ready to play? Let's do it. All right, first question. Will you or won't you eat a piece of cake? I will. Covered in ghost peppers. Oh, no, I won't, I won't. I Sorry, you said I will. It's part of the game. What? It's part of the game. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Looks tasty, Kellen. Will you have a bite? Oh. No, I won't. No, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> mm, Don't take my cake. Mm. 
Stop. Question two. Oh. Will you or won't you eat a piece of apple pie with... You're not going to trick me twice, Kellen. Apple pie with what? With fire ants? With raw sewage? With rotten fish? I won't. With vanilla ice cream. Oh. I will. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. Thank you. Homemade? <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? I'm full. Oh, I'm full. So, thank you so much, Kellen. Question three. Will you or won't you get a shoulder massage? Yes, please. I will. From a robot. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh, yes! Oh, oh, ow! Oh, oh, my intro trip easiest. Ah, no! Oh, I see the danger now. I Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop! Oh, uh, no. Uh, I won't. Uh, I'll do it anyway. Do it anyway. Last question. Will you drink a milkshake while jumping on a trampoline? Why, let me think. Milkshakes are very tasty, but they're not super healthy. But jumping on a trampoline burns calories, and it's a lot of fun. I don't see any danger. I will. I will, too. Man. Well, that was a little messy, but it wasn't dangerous. Who won the game, Kellen? Well, that depends. What did you learn? Robot massages are painful. Well, yes. But what else? Uh, milkshakes should be enjoyed while standing still. Mm-hmm. And? Uh, I guess I shouldn't have been so quick to buzz in every time. I should have waited to hear the whole challenge. <laughs> Definitely. Making sure we have all the information is an important part of wisdom. Yeah, but even after thinking it through, I still think drinking a milkshake on a trampoline isn't wise. Well, that's another part of wisdom. We learn from our mistakes. Would you make that same decision again? No. There you go. That's wisdom. Let's look at the verse one last time. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Doesn't mean we shouldn't ever take risks, but it does mean we should think before we act. Thanks a lot, Kellen. No problem, Bob. I'll see you next time. Bye. I don't get it. The verse said to avoid danger. I mean, jumping on a trampoline isn't dangerous. Sure, but I, I don't think it means just physical danger. Danger could be stuff like a, a website that you're not supposed to go to, oh, yeah. a person you shouldn't hang out with. Yeah, or, or any kind of temptation to break a rule or do something dumb. Yeah. yeah. Hey, they know what danger looks like. They're smart. No, they're wise. Yeah. Like me, mm. obviously. Uh-huh. Reveal the question. What could keep you from being wise? Maybe you're impatient. Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. Or maybe you think you don't need wisdom and you can do it all from your gut. Yeah, wisdom is important, but there are a lot of things that can get in the way. So talk about it with each other and we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Bye. Why'd you giggle when I said like me? <laughs> about what? I don't remember the reference. Three, two, one. Oh. One, come on, come on. Oh, oh, I missed it. Oh no. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I did it. Yeah, cold. <laughs>